health is, as you see in this graph, is a motivator. And I will give you some arguments why this is so. And we need motivators for climate negotiations. We need motivators for our own behavior because this has got to change as well. Now, protecting the health of ourselves, but particularly of our children, is probably the most, the most noble goal of all of us and the strongest motivation whether you live in, uh, in Asia, in Africa, in America, or in uh, other continents, this is why people care about the climate, and this is why people are ready to act. It's also why policymakers uh, act and they refer to the health argument, whether it's the European Union, as we see, or whether it's other governments, they use the health argument to justify regulation and legislation on climate. I've put together a graph for you to illustrate this. This is from the IPCC, the first book of the IPCC of the last report, which is the scientific basis. And what you see is uh, the timeline on the bottom, which goes from when I was born, roughly, to uh, 2350 and you see the curves of the temperature that are projected to go up according to various scenarios. Now the blue one is the business as usual one. This is when there will be no consensus in, in Paris when we fail. The others are lesser um, scenarios with a less uh, a rise in temperature and we should be on the green on the green curve. So that huge spread is for us to choose. It is for our policy makers, our decision makers to make sure that we are on the green line. Now the temperature is on the, on the vertical axis and you see now these grey boxes which are the generations of our children. And as the temperature rises and gets warmer and warmer, so do health effects. So we, our generation, is more or less getting away with it, but a future generation will increasingly suffer the health consequences. And I've, to illustrate this, because it's so abstract, um, I put here myself, our generation. This is uh, my lifespan, God willing. And then uh, you have the lifespan of my daughter, my last daughter, and then comes another child. That's, I didn't put my children because I don't know how many and whether I will have grand-grandchildren. So I put people from, uh, children from all over the world on these uh, generations. So it's for them that we need to make sure that we come to conclusions uh, on, in the climate debate. And why are the children so important? Not only because they are in the middle of our heart, but also because, and that's what you see in the bottom arrow, because what we do now the CO2 emitted now stays there and we have an intergenerational policy conundrum. It can't be taken back. So what we do now determines the health of these children. And this is why um, I think it is the best argument to motivate people in an otherwise very conflictual and uh, interest-guided debate. Now let me uh, turn to policymakers. Do they care or do they refer to the health argument? They do. Not all of them, but many. And I think this should become um, more and more uh, the case. And we want to mainstream this reference to health, this using the health argument to push through uh, sometimes unpopular legislation and uh, regulation. So here is a fact sheet uh, from the White House. Obama administration announces action to protect communities from the health impact of climate change. So you might say it's easy for President Obama to say um, that climate policy is a health issue. But let's look at real text legislation and regulation. And we have analyzed 25 years of text by the, on the part of the EU. Uh, you see this in this slide. On the bottom you see uh, the beginnings when climate change was almost not talked about in 1990 to today in 2014 and on the vertical axis you see the number of times that uh, climate uh, regulation was carried out, that's the green curve, and the blue curve is the interesting one, is how often 
health was used as a justification, as an argument to be invoked to promote and to pass this law. So really at the European Union we could show that policymakers increasingly use this argument.